everyone, it's Christy with AG Takes Over. Lighting is really weird in here this morning, but I wanted to film something kind of quickly, so lighting doesn't have to be the best quality. In anticipation of AG Fashion Week, which is April 26th to 30th of 2024, um, I made five videos because it's the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th, so I have five videos coming up for that. And then while I was sitting on the couch some evening, I was like, ooh, I would like to do this. Well, I already have my videos made. I want to do this anyway. It would be fun. And I said, I want to make an, a dress out of American Girl doll boxes for AG Fashion Week. Probably, I don't know. I mean, we have a box that's probably just waiting to be recycled. Oh, yeah, we got our daughter um, a Welly Wisher box. I can just use that. And my wife looked at me like, it's going to take more than one box. <laughs> but like a really like you're crazy face and I was like oh why is she surprised yeah it might take more than one box so fast forward to I decide I'm going to start this project and I had a sock like a compression sock a spare one because I'd made one into a rice sock for my neck and then I just had a left leftover one I'm not going to walk around with one sock so I cut it and made like a bodycon kind of tube dress, which actually looked pretty cute by itself. So I was like, hmm, that's a no-so hack. Um, but I put that on and I had ordered a teardrop hole punch, and I can put a picture in here from Amazon. And I got the box and it was the cardboard insert, which was the most brightly colored part, was too thick for the hole punch that I got. So I was like, dang it. Okay, so just the outsides. But it worked fine on the outsides. And I punched all these holes. <laughs> Easy, just a little bit clicky. Um, put them into piles, depending on their color and their size, because the hole punch was two sizes, as you saw. Excuse me. Um, I mostly maneuvered it so that I would have more of the bigger teardrops. Anyway, so I got a, bun a big pile of them and a needle and thread and I put the bodycon, the sock dress on a doll and just started sewing. Oh, important step. I also already had a tiny hole punch. Oh, it's downstairs, but a tiny hole punch. Um, so I put at the top of the teardrop, I did a hole punch so that they could hang. And my thinking was, this will look like a sequin dress. It's not going to be as shiny as sequins, but it'll look like a sequin dress, hopefully. I had no idea. I didn't, I'm not a doll designer or a dress designer or anything. So I was like, well, I don't know. I'm just going to see. And literally, what am I out? I use hole punches all the time. So I bought a hole punch for it, but I will use it for other things. So I'm not out anything. And... Punched a bunch of them, put the holes in them, set them in, in piles, and then just started sewing them. I started at the bottom, and I just went all the way around, like a whip stitch, just a two stitches, move on, two stitches, move on. This does not need to survive a night of dancing. And then, um, so one row, and then I went just slightly above it, one row all the way around, and slightly above it, so that each one will lay over top of the other one and I had no idea what I was going to do when I got to the top you'll see in a minute I was like I don't know we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so it took me one day not even a full day like a few hours I hole punched a little bit um during the day when I had spare time and then I did the sewing stuff at night so it, it took several hours but no big deal um and then I was like ta-da I did it <laughs> Can I take it off this doll? Will it fall apart? Will it? Well, let me just show you how it turned out. Um, I don't have a brush to brush the doll's hair, so she might look a little crazy, but one second. Here's my sequin dress. It ended up taking two, one Welly Wisher box and two Truly Me boxes, but they were destined for recycling anyway. You can see the back. How fun is this? I've never made a dress out of a box before in my life. Here's the funny part though. So remember I was like, my wife looked at me like, you're crazy. 
So I <laughs> started making it and she goes, oh, I thought you were saying that you were going to make a dress for yourself out of H.E. doll boxes. <laughs> Why would I do that? That would look horrible. There's no way it would hold up. And what's the point if it's not going to hold up if I'm making a doll or a dress for myself? That would take a gajillion boxes. That would take so much punching and so much sewing. Why would you think that's what I meant? I have no idea why her mind went there. Absolutely not. Why would I do that? But this is super cute. So I went um all the way around like i explained so that each layer is over the top and then these are the smaller punches and um i did use a glue gun that's the only other thing i used so um i picked out the brighter ones from the welly wisher thing and i made like a little v so teardrop teardrop glued them together right there and i had a whole bunch of the v's set out and then kind of went like this and yeah, it's just glued on. This strap is more of those, but they're just kind of bent a little more so they can go over the shoulder. They go all the way around to the back. And it's not even glued on because I was like, I'm just going to tuck it into the sock underneath. So I can just take that part off. And then she can go to a strapless look very easily. I don't know. It looks a little low when it doesn't have this to me. Um, so I did it and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to take pictures and this is so cool and I'm proud of myself and I made this thing and it is really like something unique because my, my fashion week videos are more of a series that I already do. So I was like, this is totally unique, but I already have videos for every one of the days and they kind of follow a theme. So I don't want to disrupt that. Also, what am I going to do with this now? Because I don't necessarily need to keep it. And I showed somebody, another collector, because I was like, I just have to show somebody. I'm excited and I'm proud of myself. And I was like, now what do I do with it? Maybe I can do a giveaway. And she was like, oh, maybe you could do a giveaway where people who participate in AG Fashion Week can tag you and they can be entered. Like if they make a video for AG Fashion Week and they tag you in it, then they can be entered to win this if they want it. I was like, that's such a cool idea. I don't know if it's going to hold up from one doll to the next. So I don't want to send somebody something and be like, here's your thing that you can't even use. So I'm going to pause for a second and grab another doll. And we're going to find out right here, right now. All right. Um, I got Willow because she was over there nudie. So she was a good candidate. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let me set her down. And to make life easiest, I'm going to take off her little purse and her shoes. <laughs> I think it's just going to fall apart. It was a pretty tight dress, so I don't know if I should push down or pull down. Maybe... If all it needs is like a little bit of glue again, but it can kind of go back together pretty quickly. All right. And I feel like this is going to be super awkward for you to watch, but also I want you to watch it so that we know whether it's worth me doing a giveaway. The answer might be it's not and no giveaway, but you got to see it. Okay, so I'm just... Luckily, what it's on is stretchy. So if you want to do this idea, keep that in mind. <laughs> this can't be fun to watch. We're getting there. It hasn't fallen apart yet. The part that I think is most likely to fall apart is the top because it's glued on, not sewn on. But if if somebody is willing to just hot glue it back on, then it's not a problem. Oh, it's getting it's getting past the butt. This is promising. Oh, 
I lost one of them. <laughs> a fallen soldier. Okay. Okay, okay. That's half the battle. <laughs> it looks a mess, but I can fix it. Okay, let's see. I might have to pause just to put this on, but I'll tell you how hard it was or wasn't. So just, I think I need two hands. Okay, so that took me, ah! <laughs> and of all of that, the headband is the problem. Um, what am I? Headband is no match for her um, aftermarket really thick wig. Okay, well, headband doesn't look great, but um, it only took me a couple minutes. I will say it needs a little, like, finessing because of where some of the um, things got jostled. And a little piece of this came loose and would need glued back. I lost one more scale, so total of two casualties. Oh my God, girl. There. Now her hair looks crazy, but whatever. Um, yeah, it kind of, I think it mostly worked. What do you think? I'll take some, I'll kind of like finesse it a little and take some pictures and you can see if this one looks as intact and as nice as it did on Lark. And I don't know, let me know in the comments, should I do a giveaway with this? Would anybody, want, would anybody want this absolutely one of a kind epitome of upcycling cardboard box dress? If not, like it was fun to make and I'm super proud of myself that I made this work. Um, I had a, a, a very vague nebulous vision and it actually became a thing. So yeah. Um, let me know, please, 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 if you are a content creator and you can put together a video that is doll fashion related for HE Fashion Week, use the hashtag Fashion Week in your tags and in your descriptions. That would be great. In your title even would help people find it. Um, and if you are a viewer and not a subscriber, then please watch them search for AG hashtag or AG Fashion Week. Um, the whole week. I, I think it's going to be great. There are a lot of people who are really talented and really excited and participating. Um, and of course, if you want to participate over on Instagram, because you also have an account there or you have an account there instead of a channel here, same hashtag, hashtag AG Fashion Week. All right, take care. Oh, I'll put a couple pictures up of Lark and of Willow, but yeah, bye.